What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for clicking this video and tuning in because we all want to see Bronte drive stick shift and the Subaru and maybe I'll get hot coffee spilt on me. So this is my 1998 Subaru Outback. It is by far the most useless car I own. But today we will be using it to try to teach Bronte how to drive with three feet see if she could figure it out. To preface this video, I am not a very good teacher, Bronte is not a very good student, and this is not a very good car. But we're gonna give it a try, and hopefully this thing doesn't break down on us. There's a strong chance. Brand new clutch, brand new engine, we should be good to go. Bronte, what do you think? She's eating a rice cake. It sounds horrendous. Yeah. First thing, I feel like this isn't a fair shot for me at learning because doesn't this thing run not good? Well, it. I mean, it runs pretty well, honestly. Really? It just right. takes a minute. And then I'm a little offended you said I'm a bad student. You know you're a bad teacher. We well, I said I was a bad teacher. Yeah, but then you have to throw, I'm not a bad student. All right. We'll see. They'll judge that. Yeah. All right, let's get in here, go for a drive. And like I said, I have a hot coffee that I'm gonna try to drink while Bronte drives. We'll see how that goes. Go ahead. So do Long you time. understand a little bit of how a stick shift car works? Yes. Explain to us how it works. So you press the clutch Put it into gear and then as you press on the gas you pedal off of the clutch it's all about like the teetering of the clutch and the gas and then um then once it i i like know you kind of just know where to like change gears yeah when it gets like a little high and then yeah then you change it you yeah. put into second and when you change gear you press on the clutch and then you do the teetering thing I'm just, yeah. And then I I get a little flustered when like you have to stop because I'm like... Clutch in, and use the brakes. Any other tips since you're the teacher you're supposed to be teaching me? I'm more of a uh, let the student teach themselves type of teacher. <laughs> That's not how this works. <laughs> That's not how teaching works. Yeah, no. I get very flustered with the three pedals. Yeah, I would... Teetering. I would go ahead and say you don't know how to drive stick shift. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't comfortably get into a stick shift car. Yeah, like if it was an emergency and be like, well, actually, no, maybe if it was an emergency, I'd be like. Oh, an emergency would suddenly make you know how. Yeah, I don't know. Are you going to teach me? Or just like. I mean, you said you know how to do it. Okay, but how do I start? Brake and clutch in? Clutch in and push in first. And the brake? I mean, you don't need the brake unless you're going to roll okay, backwards. So clutch in. Mm hmm. And now put it into first. Is that first? It might be. It's hard. This shifter is pretty worn out. Yeah. Yeah, that's first. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You don't have to push it that hard. And then you give it some gas as you slip the clutch. You don't have to be that high in the RPM. You kind of just. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's okay. Wait, hold on. The gas is so like touchy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a race car. Now, let the clutch out. Now guess, oh, oh. <laughs> Stop. You let off the gas as you let the clutch out. <laughs> now clutch in. Clutch in. Oh, you're holding the starter for a little while. Oh, what's that? <laughs> She's not used Wait. to a car that does this. You have to... <laughs> I, got, I got hot coffee all over me. Oh, okay, wait. All right. We're in neutral. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Teach me. You have to use more gas. And okay, then when the when clutch is, when the clutch is, like when you feel it start to like catch the clutch, you just have to like let it out all the way. You know, like. And like press more you, gas. You are slipping it slowly the whole time. You have to like slow and then like all the way out. No. Okay, but you were telling me I was too much RPM. You don't, yeah. Then first? You were probably too much RPM. Yeah, you're in first. Yeah, that's way too much RPM. Now, 
<laughs> they have gas. I did. <laughs> you didn't have gas going. I was on the floor, I swear. Really slowly. I am. <laughs> I'm so slow. Okay. You have a lot of RPM too. You only need like a little over a, over one. You like immediately dump the clutch. Stop! I was just trying to tell you what you were doing. But, but, okay, but this is where you're a bad Do you want me to show you and you can watch my feet? This is where you're a bad teacher where you're like, you literally like- I was not doing stop. that. Do you want me to show you my no, feet work? No, no, because I'm doing it. I know what the- Yeah, but you're doing something wrong because it's not going. So what am I doing wrong? It's about how much gas and, and how like you're like kind of dumping the clutch. I'm Cooper, I'm literally like this. Let me, let me see. Let me try. What? No, no what? let me see exactly no, no, no. what it takes. Like, I want to know exactly where the release points on them both are. Can I just show you real quick? It'll take two seconds. God. <laughs> it's a little funny. <laughs> it's a little funny. I knew you were going to get mad at me. It's hard to explain. Because, It's no, like a feeling. It's hard it, to, like, okay, explain know, exactly what I you need. I know what the feeling is. I'm just trying to get the timing right, but it's... You're getting You're very bad irritated no, at me. No, Cooper, I'm not. You're you irritate me because when I do it wrong, you're like you like. I'm not saying it like yes, that. I'm just are. trying to. We're gonna be in a fight after this. I already know it. Go to well, you, you see how I kind of feathered it. Like, like I was her. like, yeah, I was kind of like, I was okay. like, I was between like one and like nine. Like, one and nine. Well, like nine hundred and one thousand. That's what those are. Oh, okay. So, like, I was between, like, 9 and 1,200. I'm not even on the gas and it's at 900. That's what I was doing. I was letting it, like, idle down and, like, kind of, like, feathering it until it was at, like, that perfect okay. release point. Like, kind of, like, boom, 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 boom. And then I was also slipping the clutch while I did it. <laughs> you see, you, like, dumped the clutch, right? <laughs> you definitely one? didn't slip the clutch on that one. How do I start it? Clutch in. You hold the starter so long. Because <laughs> I feel like it's going to start. <laughs> Alright, go on, go on. I did. I can't. No, you're not. You're, you see, you're getting mad at me, but like no, you're... No, I'm not getting mad at you. Too I just, I'm getting too quick with everything. I'm getting frustrated that, I'm, that I've Here, let done me, this You got to watch time. my feet a little bit more. Cooper, I know how to do it. I Like, I know what I'm... <laughs> getting very frustrated with me. <laughs> I'm not getting fr I'm frustrated with this like I because I know I know the release and I feel like I'm about to get it and then it just the release is all the way at the top of the clutch pedal like once it starts to grab you can feel it start to grab and the rpms go down see now more gas oh, you had it but then you didn't give it more gas but you still let your foot too fast off the clutch even when the car's moving, I'm still letting off the clutch. Okay, so it can still be moving and I can be on the clutch. Yes, you okay. never you never okay. fully just let off the clutch. Okay, okay. Like, you, that... you always are slipping the clutch okay. in a way. I thought you had to be fully off once you No, once moving. you're moving, you can still, your, your foot okay. is still dragging the clutch. Okay. It's not what you're supposed to do. And then once I really start moving, then I can fully let off? Like once, once I yeah, get once you're going. actually moving. But okay. once you just start inching, you're still like on the clutch. Okay. Because you're getting that smooth transition. Okay. You're controlling the RPM with the clutch in a way. Okay. Now let. Told you, I got it this time! Yeah, I told there you, go. you! You felt okay, it. Okay, now what, now what? Now I got a clutch in second gear, right? It's straight down? Yeah, I mean, you could ride out first gear a little bit longer. Okay, well, and you could ride it stop. to the stop. Do you want to stop here and try again before <laughs> the stop sign or are you going right to the stop I sign? I don't know, I don't know. How do I stop, how do I stop? Clutch okay. in, brake pedal. You didn't have to pull it out of first, but... Jesus. I'm cruising. I'm cruising. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, stop. Yeah, I, know. I don't know what you were doing here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to roll through the stop sign. Panic. Insert panic meme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you I had it that time. Yeah, oh, but yeah. now you understand, like, you yeah. have to slip the clutch out the whole way. You can slip the clutch a little quicker until you're at that top release point. Right, now you're starting to move a little more gas. Oh, wait. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you didn't push the clutch in, so we stalled. What do you mean I didn't push the clutch in? Because we we were stopping and you didn't push the clutch in. 
to stop. No, I wasn't stopping. I was just going to go through. Oh. I mean, yeah, you can do that. We're only like four feet from it, so it's not really... I don't, I, no, I think there I didn't put enough gas was the problem. Yeah. Are I you, had my clutch in the whole time. You sure you're in first, not... Because first and fourth look pretty similar. Or first and third, sorry. Am I in first? Yeah. Once you realize the release point's at the full top of the clutch... There you go. Whee! That was a good one. Okay, wait. Now... Now clutch in. Clutch in. Now second. Now clutch out and gas. A little too much gas. Can you stall in second gear? I mean, you could. It's not going to be easy at rolling. I don't know. I don't know how to turn. <laughs> Just turn. Just but how do turn I slow like down? a car. The brake. The brake. Yeah. What about the clutch? Just leave it. Now accelerate. <laughs> Tires are rubbing. There you go. You turned. Well, you didn't tell me. I mean, you're I didn't know like if you once had to, you... like, had, like if I was coming in hot on a turn or something, and I had to slow down, would you just break? Yeah. I thought you had to put it in neutral to break. Or is that to stop? No, that's to stop, but you could push the clutch in if you wanted to. But then you have to like so I could be in second gear and I could just brake pedal, brake pedal, brake pedal. Yeah, but you can't full stop in second gear. Okay, yeah. Okay. If you full stop, you'd have to click. Okay, in first. That, that, okay. Oh, look at that. That's one of those Silverado 5500s. I want one. They're so cool. It's so big. I know. I have a lot to compensate for. Look at that. I only got my coffee spilled on me twice. You're doing good. You are doing yeah, good. Well, now <laughs> yeah, now it's just like a normal car. I'll push clutch in and go to third. Up. Straight uh, up, yeah. Not where first was, like next to first. Clutch wait, in. Clutch. All right. Woo! You're in first. Push clutch in. <gasps> okay, clutch is in. All right, there you go. Now give it more gas because you're a little too you were a little too slow at that point for third now. All right, clutch back in. Why? Because you're because now you're in now you're in second now now go. See, you're there's like no, there's no outlet here. No, you turn. Turn where? I'm pretty sure it turns. This is a road right here. My GoPro just went from eight percent to twenty percent. We on have this to. Hill? Yeah, it's not that bad of a hill. You're not even rolling back. Like, is the car rolling back when you're not on, on the brake? No. Oh, so it's not that bad of a hill. Now just feather a little bit. Wait, I'm too hot. That's fine. You can use the clutch if if you once you start to but know what I'm you're doing. I'm scared, making this you're, turn. You're good. There's no cars coming. I know, but if I stall, road. it's a quiet road. Just do it. Don't stall. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the slowest clutch release ever. <laughs> she has now been releasing the clutch for 30 seconds. 40 seconds on clutch release. All right, go. Oh my God, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Yeah, there you go. I, I released it too fast on the top though. I almost thought But I you notice it. how the top Wait, is. now what, now what, now, now go what? to second. Clutch in, grab second, now clutch out. And yeah. Jesus. See, I like panic. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and now we're on this road and I have to turn again. This oh is God. driving a stick shift car. Cooper, I don't. <laughs> clutch in. Clutch in, brake, blinker. This <laughs> <laughs> is not funny, there better not be anyone. Are you sure you're in first? Alright, you're good. Like you that feel, was the best one I've done. Yeah, yet. you you're that starting to feel best. it like grabbing, like you know where the clutch is grabbing it just takes and like me. Okay, wait, wait. Now clutch. use the gas though, like be accelerating. Now clutch in, now off the gas. Ooh. Oh, I was on the gas. Yeah, still. off the gas when you shift. Oh, like, clutch in, off the gas, clutch, like, yeah, in and yeah, out, yeah, in yeah. and out. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who's sweating more, me, <laughs> you, or squirrels in this area. <laughs> a little quicker on the gas. There you go. Expert. There was a car <laughs> behind us. We were at a stop sign. She was turning. That was max stressful now. Oh, you were on the, you were pushing the gas harder as you let off. I know, the, it's like I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> the teeter, because you yeah. have to, you have to do stuff with both feet and your hand all at the same time. 
and you have to focus yeah. on driving in a straight yeah, line. Like, <laughs> there's, yeah, that's the thing about stick shift driving. Like, there's like just multiple naturally things. Naturally, almost just like, and I'm like, oh, how do I stop it? <laughs> See, like you could almost be in third right now, almost. Should I try again? Go for it. Third's like up and in the middle. Watch in. And then release the gas. And, yeah. And, okay. Watch in. Release the gas. Now, back on the. Yeah. What I do, what I do. I think you went to first, but clutch in. You can always clutch in to get out of any issue. Now Hell back, what? just go into, first? go into second. And then, do I have to teeter it? Yeah. A little low for a second, but I can't get third. first is really short. I can't get third. Yeah, Rafi keeps missing third. Oh, at FedEx, I wonder if they asked me for me. Wait, wait, okay, clutch in. We need Kyle Boosted Boys to show Bronte where third gear is. Kyle, where are you at? Oh. Yeah. Plus one, one like for Bronte learning how to drive stick shift. And also a like if you guys are impressed that the Subaru is out here bogging. <laughs> because I am impressed that this thing does drive well. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> it does, it drives fine, like yeah. honestly. Now that I'm turning, what do I do? Like. Brake so, to clutch in. so now that you're turning, this is what you should do. What a, okay, clutch in, I'm clutch a, in, clutch in, go to second, turn, Uber. turn. You, you're just doing multiple things at once. You're driving oh, a stick shift car and now release off the clutch as you're coming out through the turn. See, that's where you're a bad teacher because that's like I'm trying to. I know, but you were yelling Cooper while I was trying to explain. Because we were going to get understand. the turn in like two seconds. <laughs> But I, I understand and I was trying to, I was I was also trying to think anything. what the best thing to do, but did you see how you downshifted to come out of the turn in the right gear? No, I had no idea what we just did because you didn't tell me. I'm trying to explain. So you, you were in third gear, but third gear would have been too low of a gear to come around the turn in. Mm -hmm. So you down, you grabbed second gear, you were still clutch in, in neutral, but then once you came around the turn, you put it into, into second by letting off the clutch get it yeah because third gear would have been too high of a gear with that rpm and that mile an hour so, so you, you would downshift to two clutch put it in neutral uh -huh. break yep. and then when you get out of the turn you're in second. yeah i mean you can you can do it before Should you're out of the turn third? yeah can i go now yeah You would have grabbed fifth. Did Sorry. I grab third? Yeah, it looks like you grabbed third to me. You no, got it. Now you're just cruising. I mean, you're just driving a stick shift car. When I drive a stick, yeah, well, like when I drive a stick shift car, I don't look at the turn and I'm like, what should I do? I like, well, you just do it. Because okay. like, you just kind of like, but, know. Okay, let me say, say something. You know we're coming up to a stop sign. Now, I didn't even think about it. Now, okay, but right now you should be like, okay, this is what you're going to do. See, in my mind, I think after the fifth stop sign now, you should probably know. Yeah, well, okay, I know how to stop at a stop sign, but like the turn at least. I know, I just didn't even like, think you that. Been like, oh, we're coming up to a turn. I we're told you I'm a bad teacher. I admitted that first clip in this video. All right, let's try third again. All right. Who's the boy Kyle? Shout out. I think neutral. you put it in neutral. What do I do? Put it in second. You're in second. No, nope. now there you go. Now drive. I have to release slowly, right? Yeah, I mean, not all that slow because we're already moving. Shit, I missed it. You missed third. Maybe I, I think you got it. <laughs> Grab third. Woo! I'm so happy to be home. Now reverse is a whole thing in itself. Reverse is really tough. Cause you have to like now what do I how do I park it? Just that? Yeah. Okay, let me get out of this thing. This is high stress couple stuff right here. <laughs> high stress couple things. Oh, yeah, we didn't even try reverse. <laughs> reverse is really tough in this car because you kind of like to stop when you know when you're backing out you're kind of stopping and going mm -hmm. you have to like clutch in and out a bunch of times as you're backing out so nope. it gets really tough it's gonna be a no for me <laughs> what's your what's your take 
Would you drive again? Yes, I would. I think we need to like set up weekly lessons so you get comfortable in yeah. a stick shift car. Yeah. Because I'd like to see you potentially drive the 240, but you're a long ways out from that car. Very long ways out, yeah. But we can get you there. Yeah. I mean, I think once I got the feel for it and you explained, a once you explained that like I could still be on the clutch on top when it was moving, that made more sense to me. Because I thought once you were moving, you had to be fully off the clutch. And that's where it would stop. Yeah. You're kind of dragging the clutch a little bit, slipping it, as they say. Yeah. So that, and then just the, like, it, there's just so many things. Like, the turning, braking, stopping, rolling through a turn, down, like. Yeah. I, like, there's, I need, I think, I think it's, yeah, I think it's one thing at a time. Like, first I need to get good with, like, the pedaling and, like, going and not stalling it. Then once I'm comfortable with stalling it, then you could teach me, like, to downshift. And, yeah. But once so. you're driving, it's pretty easy. The hard part yeah. is the leaving. But still, I don't know what it is, but for me, like, even when you're driving, like, there's just so much, like, I feel like when you're coming to a stop sign, I'm like, do I clutch? Do I just brake? Do I, like, there's yeah. too many things that stresses me out. I almost need to, like, explain to you how, like, like, when you're driving in your car, you can usually hear it shift. Mm -hmm. And I need to, like, explain that to you. I think, like, if you're driving your car around the neighborhood, I can tell you, like, listen to how it shifts, because mm -hmm. you'll notice you, you, you're braking and your car will downshift and then as you come through a turn it'll upshift again yeah, no, I, into the turn. I, I know but that's that same concept just carries right over. I know I know that but it's the pedals that like go yeah. with it is what's the hard part. It's tough. Not easy. That's why that's why they don't sell stick shift really anymore. Yeah I wouldn't so. I wouldn't buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Bronze would not I buy would a not. manual <laughs> In 2021. No, I would not. <laughs> Tough break. Automatic type of girl. What do you think? How do you think? I it? think you did good. I think we need more lessons, and I think it's, I think it's a good thing for you to learn and get some more lessons in, because once you do learn it, it's fun. Like, yeah, you would actually have fun driving this car once you like get it down. Yeah. Because it's, 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 I don't know. It's got like an enjoyment factor that automatics don't have. So, you did good. Uh, we'll do some more lessons. Let her know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what I did wrong and how terrible of a uh, instructor I am. Yeah. I am open for hire. So. <laughs> let me know how I did, if I did good. Yep. I think I did good. All right. That'll do it, though, guys. Thank you for watching. Keep it saucy. We'll see you next time.